Understanding, I cherish you, a guide to expressing deep affection in English. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a beautiful and profound phrase, I cherish you. This phrase is not just about liking someone, it's about expressing deep, heartfelt affection. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and its impact in English communication. Cherish is a powerful verb in English. It goes beyond simple liking or love. To cherish someone means to hold them dear to your heart, to care for them deeply, and to treasure the relationship you have with them. It's often used in very close, loving relationships like those between family members, close friends, or romantic partners. Understanding when to use, I cherish you, is crucial. This phrase is typically reserved for meaningful, intimate conversations. You might say it during a heartfelt talk, in a romantic letter, or when expressing gratitude to someone who has profoundly impacted your life. It's not commonly used in casual conversations or with acquaintances. The emotional weight of, I cherish you, is significant. When you say this to someone, you're conveying that they are incredibly important and valued in your life. It's a way to express that you don't just love them, you hold them in high regard and appreciate their presence in your life deeply. In different cultures, the expression of deep emotions varies. In English-speaking cultures, saying, I cherish you, is a strong and intimate declaration. It's important to understand the emotional and cultural context when using this phrase, as it might be overwhelming or too intense in some situations. I cherish you is a beautiful expression of deep affection in the English language. Remember, it's used in special contexts to express profound love and appreciation. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use this phrase appropriately in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language.